Hey guys, Sarah from Ryan's Outdoor, and today I'm doing a little pond fishing here with Ben. We're just at a little golf course, and uh, we're, doing, we're gonna be doing some pond hopping. We're starting off at one of the smallest ponds, uh, which is actually a pretty decent pond. I've caught you know quite a few fish out of here before, and uh, hopefully we'll just be on some fish today. Uh, the first thing I'm just trying is this tiny little wacky rig, uh, because there's a lot of fish in here. A lot of them are kind of small, but there's bigger ones too, so uh, we'll try to catch some. Oh, you have one. Oh, that's not, that's not a bad one. That's better than all like the super tiny ones. Good job. He just splashed me with mud too. All right guys, so I was just getting a bunch of like tiny little bites. It was either really small bass or just bluegill on that little uh, finesse worm. So I just switched this little tiny swim bait, which is what I used here last time and it worked pretty well. So I'm gonna cover a little bit more water with this, you know, a lot more water really than the finesse worm. And uh, if I can't catch anything in this pond, then we'll probably just move on to the next one. Got him. Wow, that was one of my first casts of the swim bait. Just a little one, but we'll take him. So the swim bait is a lot better than the finesse worm in the sense that you can just cover so much more water than that uh, tiny little finesse worm. It just sinks really slow, which it's not a bad bait, but you know, if you want to cover more water, the swim bait's a much better option. It's just a little Kitek swim bait. Uh, it's a Kitek 2.8 inch uh, swing impact fat and it's a great little swim bait. All Kitek's have great action, but you know my first little fish, we'll take him. But I mean, yeah, if you wanted to order it from Taco Warehouse, you could get the exact same one. I mean, I got a lot of, like, it was totally 100%, 100% like a bite. Another one, that, that was the next cast, right? I guess this is just a much better little bait here. Oh, we'll take that one. It's not a bad one, that's above average. He's probably, yeah, he's a few ounces less than a pound, but got him on the little Kitek, and yeah, the one downside of these Kiteks, they have, well, the good the good side is they have a really good action and, you know, entice bass really easily, but the bad side is they're really, really uh, undurable. They're real soft and just break super easily. Still, this one lasted two fish, which is probably better than average. All right, anyway, second fish. I haven't fished with a frog in like forever. All right, well, here's the second or the third fish of the day on that little Kitek. That was only like probably like three or four casts after that last one. Uh, really getting on them now with this little Kitek. All right, guys, we're at the next pond now. This is the biggest one. We're just back in this cove, or, or well, it's not even a cove. It's just all the way back to one side of this pond, and it's usually pretty good right here. Pretty good chance to catch one on this cast. You got one right there, right by the bank. All right guys, first one at this pond, just a little one. All right guys, where's that fish? Just another small one. Got one. Oh my good, look how big this bluegill is. Oh, he fell off. It's a big bluegill. 